Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this beautiful chunky crochet blanket. So this is currently a free pattern on my blog and so you can find all the pattern notes and directions at the link in the description box below. Okay, so this is a really fun, easy blanket. It's made up of only two stitches. So, and it's also very beginner friendly. So if that's your thing and you love making blankets that are fast and quick, I think you'll really enjoy this pattern. All right, so some of the materials that you're going to need to make this blanket is you're going to need four balls of a number six super bulky weight yarn. In the pattern, I am using a Lion Brand Respun Thick and Quick Yarn. So this is a 100% recycled polyester yarn. It's similar to Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, it's just a bit thinner. But you're going to need four balls. Um, for the blanket here, I use the color Sapia Rose, so three balls of Sapia Rose, and you just want one extra ball for the pom-poms, if you choose to put them on there. So for the tutorial, I'm just gonna make it in one color, just a solid color. Um, and you're also going to need a 15.0 millimeter crochet hook. So this is a Q size crochet hook. I purchased mine at Hobby Lobby, um, but you can check online and see where they have them. I believe we crochet sells 15 millimeter hooks as well. Okay, you're also going to need a pom-pom maker in the large size. So I'm just using the Clover pom-pom maker, but if you don't have one of these, there's also tutorials for how to make a pom-pom um, with your hands, with a fork, and even the cardboard method. And I also have a tutorial on my blog, um, an in-depth step-by-step photo tutorial. Okay, I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description box. And then last but not least, you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to work at any ends. All right, so let's get into how to make this blanket. Okay, so to start our blanket, we wanna chain 56. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a slip knot. So you wanna wrap it around your finger twice, take this piece of yarn and push it over, then take the other piece of yarn and push it right over your finger, okay? And then you wanna take your hook, put it into that loop and just tighten it, okay? And so now you want to chain 56. So to chain, you just want to yarn over and pull through. Okay, so that's one, two, three, and then keep on going till you get 56. Okay, so I just finished with my 56 chains. Okay, and so you should have a long chain that looks like this. All right, and so now what we want to do is we want to skip the first stitch, which is right here. And then in that second stitch, you want to work one single crochet and one double crochet. Okay, so to make a single crochet, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. So you have two loops on your hook, yarn over one more time and pull through those last two loops. And that's how you make a single crochet. Okay, so now we wanna make a double crochet in that same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two, and then yarn over, pull through the next two. Okay, and that's how you make a double crochet. So now we wanna skip the next chain and we wanna work another single and double crochet in that third chain, okay? So go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, two loops on hook, and then yarn over, pull through the last two, okay? And now let's make our double crochet, yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and then pull through the first two, and then yarn over, pull through the last two. All right, so it should look like this. Okay, so now the pattern for the first row becomes very easy because all we wanna do is skip the next chain and make a single crochet and double crochet in the following chain. You wanna do this until the last two chains at the end of the row. Okay, so we're gonna skip our next chain and then make one single and then one double. All right, skip our next chain and then make one single crochet and then one double crochet. All right, so your row should start looking like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue till the end of the row, till my last two stitches, and then I will meet you right back here. 
Okay, so I'm here at the end of row one and you should have two chains left. So you have one chain right here and another chain right there. So now all we wanna do is skip the next chain and make one single crochet in that last chain. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our single crochet. All right, so now we're gonna work on row two and your row one should look like this. Okay, so for row two, we wanna go ahead and chain one. Now we're gonna turn our work, so we're working on the back side. Okay, and so you want to make one single crochet and one double crochet in the first stitch, okay? And that stitch is gonna be right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our one single crochet and then make one double crochet. All right, so it should look like this. Now we're gonna skip the next stitch and make one single crochet and one double crochet in the following stitch. All right, so it should look like this now. And so just like the first row, you want to skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet and one double crochet in the following stitch. Okay, so you wanna to continue to do that until the end of the row. All right, until your last two stitches. So we're gonna skip the next stitch and then make one single and then one double. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this part and then I will meet you at the end of row two when we're working on our last two stitches. Okay, so I'm here with my last two stitches of my row two, okay, and you should have something that looks like this now. And so now all we wanna do is make one single crochet in that last stitch, okay? So we're gonna skip this stitch and you're gonna work one single crochet in this stitch right here. All right, so it's gonna be right here. Okay, so go ahead and make your single crochet. All right, so it should look like this when it's completed. Okay, so now for row three through row 55, you wanna to continue to repeat row two. Okay, so you want to chain one. All right, and then flip your work. So you're working back on the front side and you're going to make one single crochet and one double crochet in that first stitch. Okay. All right, and so then you want to skip your next stitch and then make another single crochet and double crochet. So you wanna to continue to do this until row 55. So you're just gonna repeat row two. All right, okay, and then your pattern will start looking like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue this to row 55 and then I will meet you right back here. Okay, so I just finished my 55 rows, and once you have finished your 55 rows for your blanket, all you wanna do is just finish off your blanket. So you just wanna yarn over and pull through, and that should create a knot. Okay, so now it's time to make our pom-poms. So you're going to need a total of eight pom-poms, four per side. And so now you wanna go ahead and just grab your pom-pom maker. You wanna grab some yarn and a pair of scissors. Okay. So first what we need to do is just open up our pom-pom maker, okay? And it doesn't matter which side you uh, start on, I'm just gonna start on this side right here. And you wanna grab your yarn, you wanna go ahead and unwind your yarn here. Oopsies. Okay, that looks like a good amount. And so we're making really big pom-poms for this blanket. So we're gonna be wrapping the yarn around this part right here a lot of times. Okay, so I just like to start in the center of this piece. I find it's easier to wrap it around. And so I just place my finger like this and I just wrap it. Okay, and so you want this whole thing to be full. And so once I get to the edge, then all I do is just scoot it to one side like that. Okay, so you just wanna keep on wrapping until it's completely filled. All right, so I just finished wrapping my yarn around one side of the pom-pom maker and so it should look like this now. Okay, and so all you wanna do is just carefully close this just like that. Okay, and so now you're on the opposite side. And so now you just wanna put your yarn like this and then just continue wrapping. And just make sure that you do not get it on the bottom of these pieces, okay? 
All right, so now you just want to continue to wrap and you want to do the exact same thing like you did to the other side. Okay, so I just finished wrapping my yarn around the other side and you want to go ahead and close it. Okay, so just carefully close it. So you should have something that looks like this now. And now you can go you can go ahead and cut this piece of yarn. Okay, and so your pom-pom should look like this. And so now what you want to do is you want to cut in the center here all the way around the pom-pom. Okay, so you want to start right here, this part, and you just want to carefully cut. Now, I do find that with thicker yarn like this, it's kind of hard to. So I just like to hold it like this, and I just cut the top layer first. Okay, just because it's kind of hard to cut it all at once. And then I just go back and I cut that bottom layer. See? So it works easy. So you just want to continue to do that all the way around the pom-pom. Okay, so I just finished cutting my pom-pom and it should look like this. Okay, so now you want to cut an additional piece of yarn. And so for this part, we're just going to do a bit longer because we have to add our pom-pom to our blanket. So the way I like to measure this is I just go, I just like to go like this. I just fit it around like that. And then I just double it up. Okay, there we go. All right, so now you want to take your strand of yarn and you just want to put it in the middle, okay? So just like that. All right, make sure it's through both loops and really make sure that it's in the middle of the pom-pom so it'll start to open up slowly too. And so you want to go ahead and tie three knots. So I like to do one on one side, make sure it's really tight. And I just rewrap the yarn to the opposite side. And then I tie it twice on the opposite side. So one and two. Okay. So it's nice and snug like that. And then all that's left to do is take this pom-pom maker and, um, or take it off. <laughs> so the easiest way to do this is that you can either just pop it open like this, or you can also just open up these and then pop it open. So I think I'm just going to have to pop these open. That seems the easiest way for me here. There we go. And voila, now you've got a really cute pom-pom. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. All right, let me just fluff mine up. You can just go like this to fluff it up a little bit. And so I've got this random piece here and it looks like I've got a weird long piece here. So all you have to do is just cut that off. And so if you're happy with the way your pom-pom looks, then all that's left to do is just add it to our blanket. So I'm feeling pretty good about how this pom-pom looks and you can always um, trim it up a bit after you've added it onto your blanket. So now we're gonna add it on to our blanket. So you wanna grab the corner edge. Okay, and you wanna take your two strands and you're gonna insert one of the strands just with your finger on the corner right stitch Okay, and just make sure you have it all the way to the top and then you want to grab the other one and you just want to tighten the other one. Okay, so you're just making a knot and I like to make about three knots. There we go. And then all that's left to do is just cut these two yarn strands and now you've got a cute little pom-pom on your blanket. Okay, so once you've added all your pom-poms to your blanket, then you're completely done. And so now you have a really cute, chunky crochet blanket. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget, you can always take a look at the blog post. It's going to have uh, very detailed instructions there on how to do everything. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a great day.